Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python IEEE project which is entitled as Efficient Detection of Diabetic Retinopathy through Deep Learning, which is an announcement of IEEE based paper title A Lesion Based Diabetic Retinopathy Detection Through Hybrid Deep Learning Model, which is an IEEE 2024 journal paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that diabetes is increasing all over the world to the humans because of the change in the lifestyle. So this lifestyle disease is very harmful because it is very silent. Even the patient doesn't know that they are affected by the diabetes. Another problem of this diabetes is like it affects the all the other organs of the human body especially the eyes or the retinopathy so here you're going to see about the diabetic retinopathy which is caused due to the diabetes and which is a very harmful because it can kill your vision also it is very harmful to the vision once the person who are affected by the diabetic retinopathy can lose their vision also so identifying the diabetic retinopathy in the earlier stage will helpful to the patient to recover themselves from this diabetic retinopathy so there are several stages in it so we need some scientific approach for identifying it so here in the base paper the authors have used google net and resnet model for the detection of the diabetic retinopathy but kindly note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about the our proposed system model so we have implemented using mobile net v2 architecture and dense net 201 architecture from the enhancement from the base paper so the other question is what is the accuracy that we have achieved so in the mobile net v2 architecture we have achieved training accuracy of 97 percentage and validation accuracy of 99 percentage and in dense net 201 architecture we have achieved training accuracy of 90 percentage and validation accuracy of 88 percentage so from the two models we have mobile net v2 architecture as the best accuracy which is around 99 percentage so now coming to the data set part so in the data set we have 1812 retinal images trained which contains five classes first one is normal normal means there is no any diabetic retinopathy second one is mild third one is moderate fourth one is severe and fifth one is proliferate diabetic retinopathy so these are the five classification that is available and we are trained with these data set images i'll show you the data set images now so here in the model folder we are given you the data set which contains the training and testing so you can see the classes of it so here you can see the data set images which we have trained for this model So these are the training images of each class so these are the data set images that we have used for the training purpose so now coming back to the project abstract so here you can see we have implemented the diabetic retinopathy detection using python and the web framework is flask and front end part contains the html css javascript so there are, then comes the data set part then we have mentioned about the the models that we have used mobile net v2 and the dense net and the accuracy that we have achieved so this is all the things summarized in the abstract part coming to the existing system as we are taking the base paper as an existing system in the base paper they have used google net and resnet model so it is mentioned about the, in the existing system part and here we are listed the disadvantages of the existing system then coming to the proposed system as mentioned the proposed system used the mobile net v2 and dense net 201 architecture so those details have been mentioned in the proposed system part 
and you can see the list of advantages of our proposed system is being listed out here then coming to the system architecture the input retinopathy images are given and pre-processing feature selection is made and mobile net v2 architecture plus dense net 201 architecture is being trained and using the prediction and the prediction result is maybe normal or mild moderate severe or proliferate diabetic retinopathy it may be any of this class and finally we have the performance analysis and graph these are the system requirements the software requirements operating system it can be executed as windows 10 or 11 coding language is python 3.10.9 web framework is flask and front end part contain html css and javascript so these are the reference this is the reference based paper of our project now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the libraries installing your system so now let me go to the source code folder inside that we have the diabetic retinopathy inside that we have the app.pi file so now let me open the command prompt here so now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes so after a few minutes you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i am going to google chrome paste it and click enter so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title efficient detection of diabetic retinopathy through deep learning so now click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so now you can see the login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to select the input image kindly note that here you need to select only the diabetic retinopathy images so here in case if you are submitting some other images it will not give the exact result it will give some random result only so here use the retinopathy images that is used in the training or the testing part in case if you are going to give your own images of the diabetic retinopathy or the retinopathy images make sure that it contains in the similar way of the size and the thing so once if it is in a similar way it will be detected or if you are giving some other images for example if you are giving some other objects images it will not predict the result correctly so now let me choose the file so go to the project source code location so let me select a image from this and then you can select the model which model you wanted you wanted mobile net v2 or dense net 201 so as we have implemented two models here we given the option of selecting the model as we got the highest accuracy in mobile net v2 i'll select for the first time with this and then click submit so once after submitting we can see the prediction result so here you can see the predicted result it is the mild case and the model that we have selected is mobile net v2 so that is being printed out here in the prediction part so now let me if you wanted to check with other case you can click this preview menu it will be navigated to the preview part again you can select the image for example i'll give you the other case now and this time I'll select the dense net and click submit. <coughs> so now you can see the predicted result is moderate case and the model that we have selected is dense net is being printed. So now let me go to the preview part. So this time I'll go uh, I'll just go to the trained images and this time last two time I was selected from the test folder this time I'll go to the training folder so in this I'll just go to a case and select it and then click select the mobile net video and click submit so now you can see the predicted result is proliferate diabetic retinopathy the model that we have selected is mobile net v2 so now let me go to the preview part so let me select an image and then click submit so now you can see the picture result is severe 
and the model that we selected is mobile net field 2 so let me select a final case of uh, with normal one and then click submit so now you can see the predicted result is no dr no dr means it is a normal one or no diabetic retinopathy the model selected that uh, i have selected is mobile net v2 so now i have shown you with the all five cases so whatever the five cases the, the classes that i have mentioned that is normal or no diabetic retinopathy mild moderate severe and proliferate diabetic retinopathy all five cases i have shown you as a scenario in this way you can check with the uh, all other images that is available in the test and the training part so now let me move to the performance analysis part so once if you click this performance analysis it will be navigated to the performance analysis part so here we have the performance analysis for both the models of mobile net v2 and the dense net 201 so first let me see you show you the mobile net v2 performance analysis so in the mobile net v2 we have the accuracy value precision value recall value and the f measure value so accuracy value of 0. 997 precision value of 0 0.997 recall value of 0 0.997 f measure value of 0 0.997 and you can see the confusion matrix of this mobile net v2 so which contains the true unprinted label of the all the five cases that we have used and coming to the next model performance analysis that is dense net 201 performance analysis you can see the accuracy precision recall and f measure value so accuracy value is 0 0.886 precision value 0 0.807 recall value 0 0.886 f measure value is 0 0.886 and finally you can see the confusion matrix of this dense net 201 which contains a true unpredictable label of the for all the five classes and finally will see the chart part kindly note that this is a static chart only as i mentioned we have not used any database to show the dynamic chart so this chart does not vary according to the input that you are going to provide it remains the same only so the chart part contains two charts one with the accuracy score another with the data set parts so first chart you can see the accuracy score of the mobile net uh, mobile net v2 on the dense net 201 so mobile at v2 with the training accuracy of 97 percentage validation accuracy 99 percentage dense net 201 with the training accuracy of 90 percentage and validation accuracy of 88 percent so that is being depicted in the first chart and second chart contains the images ratio that is used in the training purpose so the data set that we have used contains 25 percentage of normal images that is no diabetic retinopathy images 25 percentage of mild images 20 percentage of moderate 15 with severe percent and 15 with proliferate diabetic retinopathy so that is being depicted in the second chart so this is about the chart part and now let me log out from this part and this is all about the project efficient detection of diabetic retinopathy through deep learning in using python and thank you for watching